Who should I include in my company's payroll? Whoever uh, has a relationship of dependence with you. And this mm -hmm. is a, actually, this is a very important question because there is this, there is this doubt that mm -hmm. what is, what is the correct classification? It is an employee or it's a contractor? Clients mm -hmm. always ask, I work, I have a company, I have payroll, I don't have payroll. Mm -hmm. I don't pay myself, and to my employees, I gave them a 1099. That is okay. completely incorrect. The IRS is going to come, if the, if the IRS audits you, the IRS will come after you, and you have to pay the taxes that you owe to the employees who are not have, having them classify them correctly as employees, mm -hmm. And the penalties. So there, there are two problems there. If mm -hmm. you have a company and you don't have payroll and you work by yourself, you have one problem. One problem and three possibilities of being audited. Well, but if okay. you have, if you work and then uh, and, and you don't have payroll, and then in addition, you have employees and you don't have any payroll because you have no payroll, you have a for every employee, you have a, another problem, an additional problem, and that problem is has three possibilities of even more, more problem being more problematic. The one that mm -hmm. I said before: do not come in with the funds, do not pay in an advance to avoid penalties, and also do get a payroll to avoid all the uh, to avoid not reporting the payroll on your company tax return. So mm -hmm. every employee that you have and you are not classifying an employee and you pay them a 1099, a 1099 is a report of a contractor, income, uh, mm -hmm. a payment uh, given to a contractor. If you don't have that, you don't have a payroll. If the IRS audits you, it's going to come very heavy, very heavy on you. Oh, okay. So what is the distinction between an employee and a contractor? If it's, it's a very simple example. When you go, when you go to a, when you go to, well, here in the U.S. we buy, we buy uh, everything is already uh, the clothing is already made. But in the mm -hmm. old times, if you go to a tailor, and you tell you as a tailor, I need a, I need a suit. The tailor will take your measurements and then will say, come back in one week or two weeks, mm -hmm. and then one week for. For, uh, for trying and then uh, one, one with more, the, the suit will be ready. That will be a contractor because you do not control his time and you cannot tell him what to do because you don't know. Right. But if you have another person mm -hmm. to whom you tell, you tell them what to do and how to execute their job and you control their time, that's an employee. So do not risk another you do not risk your business exposing it mm -hmm. to your audit from the irs classify your employees correctly they are employees they are under your supervision and you tell them what to do they are employees do not give them 1099 put it put it in the payroll put yourself in a payroll and pay taxes in advance to the IRS and, and at the end of the year give them a w2 and everyone will be happy you will save an audit from the company and you will save an audit from the IRS, from your company, and you will take another possibility from an audit for not having the employees correctly classified as employees.